construction manager supervise construction projects from start to finish. In this video, we will go over what construction managers do, the job market for construction managers, what kind of money they make, their starting salaries, and at the end of the video, we will go over the top five highest paying metro areas for construction managers. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where I help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up to support this channel. Construction managers plan, coordinate, budget, and supervise construction projects from start to finish. These managers can be involved in all types of buildings, public, residential, commercial, and industrial. They can also be involved in the construction of roads, memorials, and bridges. Construction managers often oversee specialized contractors such as architects, civil engineers, stonemasons, electricians, and carpenters. The goal is to complete projects on time and within budget. Some construction managers are involved in multiple construction projects at the same time. Giant projects can actually require multiple construction managers. To get a job as a construction manager, many firms prefer candidates with both construction experience and a bachelor's degree in a construction-related field. This degree could focus on construction science, construction management, architecture, or engineering. Some people can get into this occupation without a degree, but this is much more challenging. Here's a breakdown of who construction managers tend to work for. 40% are actually self-employed and own their own businesses. 17% work for specialty trade contractors, 15% work in non-residential building construction, and 9% work in residential building construction. Of these different fields, non-residential building construction tends to pay the most with the average base salary of $95,150. Next is specialty trade contractors who make on average around 90K. And finally, we have residential building construction, which makes around 84,000 per year. The Department of Labor doesn't actually track the incomes of construction managers that own their own businesses. Some of these managers do extremely well, pulling in millions of dollars per year, depending on the business. Unfortunately, there aren't any vetted statistics on this group of people. So for the rest of the video, we will focus on construction managers that are employed in companies. On another note, the fact that 40% of construction managers are self-employed is nuts. For most occupations, far less people are self-employed. To put this into context, whereas 40% of construction managers are self-employed, 7% of accountants are self-employed, 20% of architects, and 19% of landscape architects are self-employed. Next, let's take a look at the historical job market of construction managers. In the year 1999, there was around 240,000 jobs for construction managers. From 1999 to 2004, they lost over 50,000 jobs. And then from 2004 to 2008, there were significant job gains. And then jobs fell again during the Great Recession, then they rose again, fell again. As you can see, this can be a volatile occupation with kind of a boom-bust cycle. Ultimately, there was a gain of almost 40,000 construction manager jobs over a 20-year time period. The unemployment rate also looks similar to this chart. The unemployment rate spiked in 2010 to a 20-year high of 8%. Recently in 2018, things have been looking really up. Unemployment has hit a decade low of 1.7%. As population growth in the United States continues, construction activity grows. This growth will result in more residences, office buildings, hospitals, schools, and more. Also at some point, the national infrastructure, such as roads, buildings, and bridges, they need to be upgraded, maintained, and expanded, driving the need for more and more construction managers. Next, let's take a look at what construction managers earn. In 1999, the average national base salary for a construction manager was $60,160. By the year 2018, this national base salary had risen to $103,110. So wages rose for construction managers by $42,950 over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's take a look at which Metro areas pay construction managers the most amount of money. The average national base salary in 2018 was around 103,000 per year, but certain metro areas pay much more than this. So let's take a look. Number five on my list is the city of brotherly love. This city is located in the Northeast Corridor. It is Philadelphia, commonly known as Philly. The average construction manager in Philly makes around 132,000 per year. Next, we are going further into the Northeastern Corridor. We're going northeast to New Haven, Connecticut, where the average construction manager makes around 133000 per year. Next, we are driving to the biggest city in the entire country. We are headed to the Big Apple. We are headed to New York, where the average construction manager makes around 144000 per year. 
Next, we are taking a flight from New York. We are going really, really far west. We are headed to Kauai, Hawaii, where the average construction manager makes around 151000 per year. Next, we are flying from Kauai, and we are headed to the Golden State. We are headed to San Jose, California, where the average construction manager makes, on average, around 152000 per year. Those are the five highest paying metro areas for construction managers in 2018. Are you interested in becoming a construction manager? Let me know in the comments below. Have a great day and I'll see you.